Every country has some famous people whose names are known all over the world. They are remembered for the things they did for mankind. Their books are read, their theories are discussed, and their discoveries are admired. Sir Winston Churchill, 1874 to 1965, was the English Prime Minister during most of World War II. He made many famous speeches, people remember him wearing a hat and smoking a large cigar. Leonardo da Vinci, 1452-1519, was an Italian scientist, mathematician, engineer, inventor, anatomist, painter, sculptor, architect, musician and writer. His name is famous primarily due to his painted works, Two of his works The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper are regarded as masterpieces all over the world. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart 1756-1791 was an Austrian composer, instrumentalist, and music teacher. Mozart wrote more than 600 musical works. His works include the operas The Marriage of Figaro, Don Giovanni, Cosi Fan Tut and the Magic Flute, the symphonies in E-flat major, G minor, and C major, Jupiter, concertos for piano, violin, and various wind instruments, and numerous chamber pieces, works for the church, minuets and other dances, songs, and the requiem. Indira Gandhi 1917 to 1984 an aggressive fighter in the struggle for Indian independence Indira Gandhi was the first woman prime minister of India she was the only child of Jawaharlal Nehru who became India's first prime minister Thomas Alva Edison 1847 to 1931 was an American inventor and entrepreneur, who invented many things. His best known inventions are the carbon microphone, the phonograph, the light bulb. Ludwig van Beethoven 1770-1827 was born in Bonn, Germany. Beethoven is considered one of the greatest musical geniuses who ever lived. He may be most famous for his nine symphonies, Moonlight Sonata, but he also wrote many other kinds of music, chamber and choral music, piano music and string quartets, and an opera.
Karl Brulov (1799–1852) is one of the most influential figures of Russian painting in the first half of the 19th century. His work was highly successful in Western Europe and influenced Russian artists Nikolai Gay and Ilya Repin. His best-known paintings are The Last Day of Pompeii, Girl, Gathering Grapes, Italian Morning, Portrait of Sofia Andreevna Bobrinskaya, etc. Much of his life Brulov spent in Rome, Italy. Confucius, about 551 479 BC, was an important Chinese educator and philosopher. He is considered one of the greatest and wisest leaders in Chinese history. He taught people to treat each other as they would like to be treated. He taught that parents should love their children and children should love their parents. He believed that all people can succeed if they work hard and develop character. People have followed Confucius' teachings for more than 2,000 years. Napoleon Bonaparte (1769–1821) was one of the greatest military commanders in history. He was military general and the first ever emperor of France. He conquered much of Europe and failed in Russia. Walter Scott (1771–1832) was a Scottish historical novelist, playwright, and poet, widely popular in the first half of the 19th century. Many of his works remain classics of both English language literature and of Scottish literature. Famous titles include Ivanhoe, Rob Roy, The Lady of the Lake, Waverley, The Heart of Midlothian and The Bride of Lammermoor. Charles Darwin 1809-1882 was an English scientist who studied nature. He is known for his theory of evolution by natural selection. He described his ideas in his important book, On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection. Nicholas Copernicus, 1473-1543, was a world-famous Polish astronomer. He wrote a book about a new model of the world whose center is the Sun, but not the Earth, Rembrandt, 1606 to 1669, the Dutch painter, is one of the most famous of all European artists. He created many historical and biblical paintings known for their rich color and masterful use of light and shadow. Rembrandt gained the reputation as a great portrait artist. He also enjoyed painting scenes from the Bible and landscapes. Some of his paintings that depict scenes from the Bible include The Raising of Lazarus, The Return of the Prodigal Son, and The Visitation. Some of his landscapes include Winter Scene, Landscape with a Stony Bridge, and Stormy Landscape. All in all he painted over 600 paintings and had a large influence on other painters throughout art history. 